Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from YLP. Now, this here is their Falcon F-15. Now, I was sent this by the company directly. They are located in Russia. They wanted me to test and review this model. Comes in this box. 800 lumens on the highest output. This is a Zoomy, which are very popular, especially if you're needing flood, complete flood that is, or you just need throw. So there's nothing in between really, especially the more you zoom it in, the more of the light on the outside spill area will decrease. All right, so let's wait no further. Let's open this up, see what's in. Everything is down below it here. We have one user manual and it's small. Now my understanding the light outputs here are three levels. And we get one lanyard here. Now this is a little bit on the small side, not too bad. All right, and that's everything out of the box for so now. And now, let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. It does have a clip on here. You can remove it if you don't want it on there. It does have a, a ring on here on the end. Put the lanyard in. Now you can table stand this if you need to. So be careful the ring there. Pretty good size. Not seeing any issue there. Compact enough for everyday carry in my opinion. Now this is a zoomy so as you can see you can just pull it forward. Really smooth. Easy so that increases the throw, that increases the wideness and the spill area. Now this here is a battery level indicator. This ring here will turn red and it will begin to blink when it gets critically low. It recommends you to change out the battery or charge it. Style and design is nice on this. I'm not a huge fan of zoomy lights, but uh, I do use them quite a bit. Uh, indoors, they're perfect lights, because and anything more than probably 55, 60 feet, especially on the widest setting, uh, that beam is going to fall off substantially until you zoom it in a little bit. Each time you give it a little bit of a a zoom in there increases your throw so I'm very familiar with these they're still very popular a lot of people like to use them because it shows a huge area in front of you especially if you're walking 30 to 50 feet is plenty now the machining and finish on this is very nice So now, let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics. Now it appears to have a glow ring in here. Now this here is running the Cree XP 
dash L high LED. That does have some writing and some red looks like streak of some sort. And we'll zoom it in here so you can see the difference how it goes in. So it zooms way out. And you can zoom it in. And this feels real easy, smooth, so that's nice. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you the springs. And well greased threads. So that's good quality control. Now the spring is a little bit smaller than the one here on the tail cap but they're pretty heavy duty alright so now I'm gonna bring out a battery here alright so the battery I'm gonna be bringing out here is a Samsung 35E this is a protected cell this is an 8 amp cell button top they do have larger button top cells just depends on who puts the uh, protection on there as well as the new wrapper on the outside okay these are 3500 milliamp cells so should get plenty of run time and power for this light it's only 800 lumens so we're going to put it in let's go ahead and go over the UI now the UI is pretty simple actually it's very simple all you have are three light levels but the interesting thing is is you can change the modes uh, as far as their layout so the layout basically right now is high medium low you can change it to low medium high or medium low and high all you have to do is press and hold the side switch for seven seconds You'll get the confirmation blank either one, two, or three. That'll let you know which mode you have it on. Now, I like the fact that it comes on on high, medium, low, so I'm going to leave it on there. So it's really easy to program it. If you prefer a different layout of the three modes, you can do that and change it yourself. All right, so now let's go over the UI. And now all you have to do is turn on the side switch. 800 lumens. You can see how floody this beam is. Really super floody. And these, in my opinion, are the most ideal indoors because ceiling and the floor and the sides really has a good beam for indoors up to 50, 60 feet. Uh, these will do well. And that's neutral white, so that's nice. Now all you're going to do now to go to the next level downward is you're just going to half press the side switch and half press again. That's the lowest light output. To me this is the most simple UI that you can get in a flashlight, especially with the world famous Cree XP-L LED. Really are world famous for their performance. Full press that. Now you can pressure switch this as well, so if you just want to half press, you can just do that, half press. So if you just need the light on for maybe 20 seconds, you release it, you're ready to go. And that's all there is to this light. Really a nice solid build quality feels rugged all right well let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the YLP Falcon F15 let's go ahead and get started I have it on the wide as a zoom at this point there it is 800 lumens now from where I'm standing that's 35 feet 
but it is making 65 feet here. Normally about 65 feet, maybe 70 is the max. That's why these are great for indoors. Or if you're going to use these for walking, that's good too. Beam profile here, real nice and wide. We'll pan around here, see how it does. And it's basically making 138 feet. Wow. Now that is faint, but it is picking it up on camera. I can see it on my display here. See there? Impressive. Do a before and after here. Real nice wide beam. And now we'll do the next level down. See how it does. There's a drop there. Still making 65 feet to that tree there. See it on the fence line. Nice color temperature on this. 4,300 Kelvin. And we're going to go down to the next level here. See how it does. That's the lowest light I'll put there. See all the different colors of the grass. So, that looks great. All right, so now we're going to go back up to the highest output here on the Tree of Life. That's going to take me a zoom it in here. Zoom it in on the ground. Zoom it in to the high, highest focus spot that this can do. Now you can see 138 feet. Now there is a little bit faint of a spill, but not a lot. Usually making it to the school now, even with their lights on. And it is making that first palm tree, not too much the second one. So it is able to reach that one. The other one is just not there. Now, if you're tracking something, this makes it easier, but you have no spill area. So if you're walking, strong spill area, that is, you may step in something like a hole and fall down. 238 feet, 138 feet to this tree, 238 feet there. So that's impressive, making those trees way out there. Making that park, there's a playground there, and there's a playground there. Tree line, fence line. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Now, like I said, this is a typical zoomy performance uh, like the fact that you can zoom it in if you need the range if you can zoom it back out to increase your visibility over a large area that is nice the 800 lumens is actually a lot of light there. plenty for most applications uh, especially for people that are using it um, I want to stress more indoor this, to my opinion these are great um, if you are using them to walk the dog outdoors and you're only needing to see you know 50 60 feet uh, especially flood this sh should be fine if you're a photographer 
these are also great because they show a large area this having a neutral white is definitely a plus for and the build quality again is impressive not seeing any issues there very comfortable so other than the simple UI like the fact also that you can program this you know some people want their light to start off on the lowest setting some people want it to start it off on the highest setting you can change it it's really up to you plus you have an additional third option where you can start off medium low and then high so that's actually very nice I'd like to see that you can do that that's a, a big plus in my opinion on this very simple light now I want to thank YLP also known as Yarky Lutz Professionals for sending me this Falcon F15 to review now after seeing the night shots this is something you are interested in getting I'll leave a link down in the description and also a discount code of mine special for my channel and that will save you 15 percent off this light here also these are coming from Russia but they are shipping them out quickly so they're going to be comparable to about 25 days uh, which is typical for China deliveries as well well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this Falcon F15 if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these YLPs to you in the future thanks for watching take care